There is now another reason for country music fans to visit Nashville. Well, this spring, the George Jones Museum will open on 2nd Avenue in the old Grand Central Station building. Channel 4's Jimmy Carter reports on a plan that was well underway before the country legend's death almost two and years ago. Seems like a long time ago now that the Wild Horse was the anchor for all this downtown revitalization. Look what's happened to Lower Broadway, the Hard Rock, all these things. Now, moving up 2nd Avenue, the George Jones Museum. He said, I love you till I die. 150 hits, countless awards, an unmistakable voice. George Jones is getting a museum. It's a big building with big plans to match. I promised George I would carry this legacy on. And that I will do. His wife Nancy has spent much of her time since her husband's death making these plans. April 24th is opening night. It's going to be a place that they can really come and feel comfortable and do their thing or writer's night or whatever anyone wants to do there. It will be happening there. But I don't need no rocking chair. George's fans are going to be able to look into his life like never before. From restaurant to performance stage to even a bar with a view overlooking the river in a football stadium. You can go to the rooftop deck, which is 6,000 square feet. And don't worry, Jimmy, I have enough room up there for you to drink. I got a 75 foot bar. On April 24th, when the George Jones Museum joins the Johnny Cash Museum, the Country Music Hall of Fame, the Tennessee Railway Museum, the Lanes Motor Car Museum, the Tennessee State Museum, and the Musicians Hall of Fame. I know I'm leaving out something. It's going to be a busy museum day for someone coming to this town. So you got nighttime for clubs, museums, and restaurants. What's out? You need something to do for the children. Jimmy Carter, Channel 4 News on 2nd Avenue.